that is not in the interest of common mwananchi. That's why we've decided to work out a budget that uh, will not be able or in a position to fund itself. This budget, uh, the, the, the ways by which in the finance bill, by which the government has put that they want to raise money for this budget are very ridiculous. And I want to say whatever the CS Treasury is going to read today is a scandal shit. Whatever is, has been enshrined in, that, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the finance bill concerning the matters taxes, when you talk about issues housing, the fact that it is 1.5%, it means that it was not reduced from where. It is a tax. And housing is a private good. Government should never concentrate on private goods. Government should concentrate on public goods. Public goods are like roads. And uh, government should also concentrate on merit goods. Merit goods are health and education. Private goods, the government, the best way for the government to deal with the housing menace is simple. Number one, ensure that any available land, uh, it is at a... a, a at a reduced or rather subsidized cost where people can afford land and no land should be left fallow. Once there is electricity, once there is water, once there is road, then it means that that land should be made use of. The second way of dealing with this housing uh, issue is simple. Develop proper infrastructure. For example, develop electric train in Kenya where a person can stay in Kiambu, a person can stay in Kisumu but still reach Nairobi and work and go back. This idea that you want to tax Kenyans to, to accommodate them, to build for them houses, it is not achievable. It is so desirable but not practical. Why? Because <clears throat> if you finish a slum like Kibra, another slum is going to sprout, double the slum. There will be rural urban migration, high rate of crime. There will be, there will be something called the duo economy, where there is the rural economy and there is the urban economy. So this idea of housing is a scandal shit. Number two. The issue of the fuel levy, I want to state it categorically, that the fuel levy is practically increasing the value, the prices of any good and service that is capable of being exported or rather transported. Therefore, increasing the value of the tax on fuel literally increases the value of all goods. That is high cost of living. The government, in their wisdom or lack of the same, and in this case, they lack the wisdom, because in life you're either wise or otherwise. So being otherwise, the government ought to have treated the idea of absorption. But that is not the case. Why? Because we have multinational companies that end up with our money into other economies. A company, a bank like ABSA, generated in its first quarter 46 billion Kenya shillings. By the end of the year, they will generate around 200 billion Kenya shillings. The government has reduced taxes from 35% to 35 to 30 percent for the multinational companies which means that they've we are we are losing five percent of 200 billion in a year that is one billion then why will you how will you want to treat to actually reduce absorption in a nation like the way mexico did when americans invested in mexico and mexicans decided to increase uh, uh to to deal with absorption by which uh, and that led to the Americans in Mexico moving out of America and the money remained in Mexico. So the most important thing that this government is doing is destroying the nation. Because they, they are saying that they want to bank on agriculture and production and even manufacturing. How will you do this when you increase taxes? If you increase taxes, even employment will not be there. Why? <laughs> because those who are employed to work, they will be substituted with machines which are costly to do the work they, that they ought to have done. And a nation that cannot employ her citizens is a dead nation and a failed nation. So I want to say that we are not in support of this budget. budget. We are not in support of the finance bill. It's coming for a third reading. We will vote against it. Thank you.